just for a moment, and just notice what arises in your awareness. And this, is, this may not feel so good, but it'll, you'll, it'll be really powerful. Just allow yourself to be aware of what happens. I'm going to say something, pause, and then say something else. Notice what your experience is. No. 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 Yes. 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 Now, when you're ready, you can let your eyes come open. And how many of you notice the difference between the feeling of no and the feeling of yes inside of you? Okay, great. So what did no feel like? Throw out some words. Flinching. Flinching, confining, punitive. I actually felt a small squirt of adrenaline. And you felt an adrenaline? You can feel that? Okay, tense, enclosed. Okay, not so pleasant, right? And how about yes? What did yes feel like? What's that? Free, expansive, opening, comforting, smiling, light. Okay. Now, there are techniques you can teach people as very simple, practical exercise. So when you leave this wellness stage, you have something to use. Your brain can create a no state that can get you to want to fight, flee, run away, or freeze. It's a reactive state. And kids get in it all the time in school when they feel like they're being judged and evaluated, which is like a lot of the time. Families, if they're not careful, can make an experience in a family be a, a no experience, just like this flinching state you had. And you can teach people how to be aware of that. And then when they're aware that they're in a reactive no state, you can actually teach them to move their state into a yes brain state of activation. Right? And you can say, well, how do I do that? How do I do that? One simple way of doing that, we'll do it right this moment, so you have something very practical, a mind sight skill thing you can take away with you, which is this. Once you realize you're in a reactive state, first of all, if you're interacting with your child, you can't really do interactions in such a healthy way when, you're, when you yourself as a parent are reactive. If you're in a setting with a friend or a colleague and you're reactive, you can't really have supportive relationship when you're reactive. So you have to know, the only way to pull yourself out of it is to know you're reactive, and here's one simple way of doing it. Try this. Let's just do a really brief exercise, but keep your eyes open for a moment and just try to bring your attention to about here in the tent. And now let your attention go back to the far wall of the tent. And now bring your aspect to the middle of the tent again. And then take your attention and bring it to about book reading distance. Here we are at the Festival of Books as if you had a book in your hands. And just notice how you can determine where your attention goes. Now there's a universal practice that's in every culture, it's in modern times and ancient times, and that's to focus your attention, we'll do it right now, on the breath. And try to bring your attention to the breath either at the level of your nostrils, and you can let your eyes go closed if you'd like, and just feel the sensation of the air coming in and out, or the level of the chest as it rises and falls, or the, the most relaxing kind of breath awareness is actually where you're aware of your abdomen, your belly, going in and out. And that's hard for a lot of people to do. It's worth practicing at home when you're lying flat. But amazingly, just try right now, wherever you feel it most naturally, your abdomen moving in and out, your chest rising and falling, or the sensation at your nostrils. And just let yourself Ride the wave of the breath in and out. And if you get distracted, that's fine. Just lovingly and gently return your focus to the breath. 